Hey everyone, today we'll take a deep dive into fast tag workflows. We'll work through a couple of examples so you can see the full capabilities and I'll talk to the benefits as we go. Let's assume we're building a profile uploader module for a dating app. For every profile upload, we may want to perform a series of tasks like resizing the image, blurring the image if the image isn't safe for work, and finally storing the image as a PNG. Typically, the app needs to handle all of this logic. Let's see how we can use workflows to simplify this process. Workflows interface can be accessed by clicking on the workflow option on the left side bar. Now let's create a workflow for profile uploads. Now that we have named the workflow, we can start adding tasks. Our first task is to resize the image. Now let's create a task for resizing. Next, we need to check if the image is safe for work. This can be done by selecting the SFW task under the Intelligence tab. The SFW task that we previously added will perform an analysis on the image and returns a Boolean in the final JSON response. Here's an example response that we received after the task execution. You can see that the output from SFW task is first nested in the task name and then the value is set to true or false depending on the image. Next, we need to add the blur task. Let's go ahead and add the blur task. We also need to ensure the blur task only runs when the image is not safe for work. For this, we will make use of this handy feature called conditions. Conditions lets you add if then logic to your workflow. In order to add a condition, you need to specify a path. The path can be obtained from the JSON response under the data object. Since the element under consideration for comparison is SFW, the path is essentially SFW. Finally, we need to add the output task and select PNG. Let's quickly revisit the logic. First, we're resizing the image. Then, we're checking if the image is safe for work. If the image is not safe for work, we're blurring the image. And then finally, transforming the image to a PNG format. One observation here is, the workflow basically outputs a PNG only if the image is not safe for work. But what happens if the image is safe for work? Our workflow logic fails to handle this scenario. Now this can be taken care of using branches. Clicking the plus button here will add a new branch. Let's select the output task and add the condition, which is SFW element should be equal to true. Let's quickly verify the logic again. First, we're resizing the image, checking if the image is safe for work. If it's not safe for work, we are blurring the image and then outputting the image as PNG. If the image is safe for work, we're transforming the image to PNG directly. Now this completes the workflow and task creation process. In order to trigger workflows on your file picker widget, we need to update the picker configuration and copy this code snippet. Add this to your picker widget. Once the image is uploaded, the workflow executes the task and sends that response to the post request to a webhook. Hence, we need to create a webhook that accepts post requests. Once you have the URL for the webhook, you can add it by clicking on the webhook under configuration. Add the webhook URL, select the workflow from the dropdown, and click Save. Now this completes the setup. Let's test out the profile upload workflow that we just created. I'll be using JS Fiddle for the demo. First, I'm going to be uploading a safe for work image. After a few seconds, I will be receiving a post response. Here you go. This is the JSON response I just received. Let's copy the response and examine it using the code editor. The final image is in the PNG format that we specified. The F SFW value is set to true since the image is safe for work. Now let's see if the image has been resized. 
Let's copy the URL and visit the URL. There you go. The image has been resized but not blurred since it's safe for work. Now let's upload a not safe for work image. Once I upload the image, I should be receiving a JSON response in a bit. There you go. This is a JSON response I received. Let's copy this and examine it further. Here the image is in the PNG format as expected. The SFW value is set to false because the image that we uploaded is not safe for work. Now let's actually visit the URL and check if the blur task has been executed. There you go. The image has been resized and blurred because we've uploaded a not safe for work image. So this is one such workflow that I've created through the dashboard. There's so many other possibilities and advanced workflows that you can create through the dashboard depending on your application needs. If you have any questions or need help setting up your workflow, please feel free to contact our support team. Thank you.